Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we're going to take a quick view of anthracite versus coal. Now the coal that I'm using is a bimunimus coal, it's called Pocahontas coal. It's a small grain coal and it's the one up on the upper left hand side of the screen. The bottom side is just some hardware store brand anthracite. And I want you to kind of take a few things away from this and just really it's just going to be a comparison video. I'm not going to try to share too much of my own opinions, although they will probably come out with the two, as I've already voiced out what I thought about the anthracite when I was burning with it. I've also got some other videos uh, coming out on this where I'm comparing the anthracite to coke. And if I had to compare the two, I think anthracite's a lot closer to coke than it is to just your regular blacksmithing coal. Now, if I had my choice, I would either forge in coke or bimutimus coal instead of anthracite. But as anthracite is local and it's something that people can get uh, readily accessible in your area, usually, and fairly cheap, you gotta burn what you gotta use what you got. Now, that being said, since anthracite burns a lot like coke, I would suggest starting with a charcoal fire first and then adding on your anthracite and getting it hot. The other thing that I would recommend is to have a very deep fire pot for the anthracite to burn in. The reason for that being, as like with coke, it really likes the oxygen to keep the coals good and hot and running. This also means that you can hang up your hat in the case of like anthracite and even with coke, on bellows or and or hand crank blowers in my opinion now it doesn't mean that you can't keep them running and working but anthracite takes forever to get up to temp and it cools off very quickly because it does not have the same insulative qualities as what the coke porous nature has joey van deerstig did a great i'll put a link to his channel in the description down below and at the end of this video uh, he did a great comparison uh, on anthracite and coke and i'll try to leave a link to his uh, video on it he talked a lot more about this uh, than what i'm doing here but i hope you all have enjoyed this video so far and you can kind of really see the differences now right off bat it doesn't seem like it's too much different but when you look at the anthracite and the way that it's burning it requires full blast of air and it requires a, a good bit of it to just keep it hot now will it get stuff up to smithing yes it will it'll get stuff plenty of hot enough for you to forge in and you can probably even forge weld in it fine enough you just have got to be able to put a large enough volume of it underneath the piece as it's burning now, one thing I can say that the anthracite has going for it, it that the bimunimus does not, is the fact that it's fairly smokeless. So this may be a great option, like Coke would be, for demonstrations in public arenas, where that sulfur and that smoke coming off of the bimunimus as it burns out its impurities may not be desirable. So, here it is. You guys can see for yourselves, there went the comparison video. Obviously, anthracite's still up on the screen, as it took a lot longer to get hot, and I had multiple retries and relights and things like that uh, to keep it going. But there you have it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And like always, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.